The European Telecommunications Satellite Organization, EU, Telsat, shut down 19 Iranian TV channels in Europe. The satellite provider acted in the name of the EU. Many viewers in Europe, the Middle East and Africa are affected by this action. With this violation against press freedom, the European Union reveals their position against alternative media organizations, a controversial movement by the EU which is being rewarded with the Nobel Peace Prize this December. Naomi Hunt from the International Press Institute in Vienna emphasizes on the human right to free speech, which should be incorporated by any country or continent. Media freedom is important, not just the Middle East, but all around the world. It's, it's, as they say, the right that upholds all other rights. It ensures accountability and transparency. What we would say is that the people living in Iran and in Europe have a universal right to seek, receive, and impart information, um, regardless of media and across frontiers. That's what Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights states, and that's what we believe. So in this particular case, we would say that um, any decision related to broadcasting should bear that principle in mind. Local media companies express concerns about this decision and interpret the move as a further sanction against Iran. I just think it's part of the sanctions which are hardening and getting strengthened day by day. And it's just part of the political force which is used against Iran. And as we all know, it's an ongoing conflict. And for sure, um, the EU will use any measures to strengthen its sanctions against Iran. So this is just part of the game. Letting journalists do their work is the principle, so Konrad Kramer. Well, I think it's always alarming if media gets shut down in a continent which prides itself so much of its press freedom. And no matter where these media come from, from which country they are, I think we should stick to the principles of press freedom because that's the basis in a way of our democracy. And I wouldn't judge upon these media, but to leave these channels open and to let these media send whatever programs they want to send uh, and do their work here and let these journalists do their work here is the basic principle of European press freedom. Observers say, regardless of the political motives of the EU, this step is to mute the voices showing an alternative to the mainstream news. This decision by the European Union is considered as a violation against the freedom of speech. Not only views are affected, but also the existences of journalists and media-related people are therefore at stake. Joe Anthony Torno, Press TV, Vienna.